So next up we have surge arresters and surge protection devices in Article 100. So a surge arrestor is a protection device that limits surge voltage by discharging or bypassing current. It prevents continued flow of that current and can repeat that action. So it's not a one-time use type of equipment. Um, a surge arrestor is something that you're going to use in systems operating above 1000 volts. For 1000 volts and less, what we would use instead of a surge arrestor is what we call a surge protection device. So a surge protection device, or SPD, is a protection device that limits transient voltage by diverting or limiting current. It prevents continued flow of that current and can repeat that action. So again, it's not a one-time use type of thing. So uh, a surge protection device, if it, ex if it uh, experiences over voltages in excess of its rating, then, then you would have to buy a new one. Fortunately, that's the only thing you should have to buy. You shouldn't have to buy a new TV and a new DVD-R and a computer and all that stuff, right? And that's kind of the whole idea behind a surge protection device is to, is to protect your equipment. Uh, it's a surge protection device, back in the day, and I mean back in the day, um, the way it would work is it would basically, in, <laughs> inside of it, 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 would, it would ignite and it would open the circuit by blowing itself up. Well, that's not cool, right? We, we, we want it to stop fires and stop bad things from happening, but we don't want it to create fires and create bad things. So back, I think all the way back in 2005 or so, we added the language that it has to be able to repeat that action of preventing that continued flow of current. So it's not a one-time use and it ignites and, and sacrifices itself to protect your equipment. That's what the manufacturers used to use is sacrifice itself. Well, we're not into chivalry and, and knights and sacrificing ourselves to protect the fair maiden. We just want a piece of equipment that's going to protect our other pieces of equipment. So a surge protection device, 1,000 volts and less. Surge arrestor, over 1,000 volts. It goes on to discuss the different types of surge protection devices. It says a type one surge protection device is suitable on the line side of the service equipment. All right, so over here on the left, you can see the marking that says type one surge protection device. You can put that upstream of the service disconnect. A type two surge protection, much, much more common, is intended to be used downstream of the service equipment. It's not permitted to be used upstream of the service equipment. We also have a type three surge protection device, which is found at the point of use. And that would be like a receptacle type surge protection device. Um, you could also say that it would include like, you know, the, the relocatable power tap that you might have underneath your desk that you plug your computer and everything else into. But that's really not covered by the NEC, is it? I mean, that, that's not part of the premises wiring system. Uh, here on the left, this receptacle type surge protection device is covered by the NEC. It is part of the premises wiring system. It's a type three surge protection device. There are also type four surge protection devices, but those are individual components and they're only to be used by manufacturers. So inside of my type three device, you might have type four components like a metal oxide varistor. That's not really something that we electricians are installing unless you're you know, manufacturing stuff. Now, all of these surge arresters and surge protection devices are found in the new article 242 in the 2020 NEC. Previous versions of the code had surge arresters in article 280 and surge protection devices in article 285 or what we used to call transient voltage surge suppressors in article 285. Um, if you look at 280 and 285 in previous versions of the code, there's a whole lot of copy and paste. So why waste the trees? Why not just have one article that covers both you can differentiate between 1,000 volts and less and over 1,000 volts, put them all in one article and call it over voltage protection because that really is what surge protection and surge arresters are for, is over voltage protection. So there you go, surge arresters, surge protection devices. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.